Hey there, Alexis here. I'm the crafter behind Persialoo.com, and today I'm teaming up with my friend Colleen from Lemon Thistle for another one of our Silhouette versus Cricut challenges. I'm Team Silhouette, she's Team Cricut, and today we are talking all about monograms. These guys are right here. I'm going to show you how to do it in Silhouette Studio. Colleen will show you the Cricut software. I'm gonna talk about using monogram fonts, monogram cut files, split monograms, like what I created here with this little sign. Isn't it pretty? So you can make your own signs, koozies, cozies. Do you guys call these koozies or cozies? I think they're koozies. Let's go monogram all the things. Okay, today we are talking all about monograms. I have a bunch of different monograms here to show you some of the things that you can create in Silhouette Studio software. Some of these designs were created using monogram fonts or monogram cut files. Some of these were made just using fonts that I already had installed on my computer and using the tools in the Silhouette Studio software. Okay, so first I wanna to talk to you a little bit about monogram fonts, monogram cut files. So one place where you can find these fonts and cut files in the Silhouette Design Store, which you can access right here through this little tab. The Silhouette Design Store will just open in your web browser and then you can go right here under Design phrases and monograms, straight to monograms, and there's a whole section full of monogram designs. So some of these designs are cut files and some of them are fonts. And there is a difference, so let's go back to the studio software and I am going to just come over here and I'm gonna type a little, I'm making up names in my head. <laughs> okay, so that's my little initial I created, I'm gonna come down here and find one of my monogram fonts. So I'm in the text style window here and I'm just going to click on, let's do this one. Okay, so you can see the monogram font. I'm gonna talk more about typing the correct letters with a font because there's kind of a trick to it and each font's a little different, but I knew how to do that font so I was ready to go. So you can see with the monogram font, I can create instantly a monogram with any letters that I want. Okay, now let me show you a monogram cut file. So I'm gonna go here to my library and find some cut files that I have downloaded. These right here are cut files, not fonts, okay? This is a font, and one way you can tell the difference is if I double click on this font, it's going to just open up the font here in my textile window. It doesn't paste anything there. If I double click on this one, it opens the cut file design in my software. It doesn't, it's not a font. So you can see on this cut file, I have all of the letters for A, B, C, D, E, and F. Um, I'm gonna first, I'm just gonna fill it with color so it's a little bit easier to see. For example, let's say that the initials we're doing are A, B, C. I would have to go in here and ungroup these designs. Ungroup all the ones that I need. And then I can just move, oh, that one did an ungroup, all the way. I'm gonna have to rescale this. So I was able to create a customized monogram using a cut file. And you can see the difference between those. I couldn't just type the cut file. I had to ungroup and move things around to get the design that I wanted. But it still works great and you can find lots of different cute little designs and find exactly what you want using cut files as well. And in fact, I wanted to show you, I have, this is one of the free monograms. Um, it's really, it's more like an initial monogram, but this is a free cut file that's available on my blog and I'll link to that. So similarly, this one, I would just go in and ungroup and then find the letter that I wanted and you could, you know, just delete all the rest of these and scale to whatever size you want and then you have your cut file monogram. This is not a font, I can't go in and type the J, but I just ungroup the large collection of designs, find the one I want, and then I can use it for my design. Okay, so I wanna show you how to use monogram fonts because there is a little bit more to it than just typing. Okay, so when you're working with monogram fonts, you have to know the rules for your font. Let me show you what I mean. If I have a monogram, let's say my letters are B, 
um, W K. Okay, so I have, I don't know, what, what name is this? This is, uh, I'm, we're gonna create some fun names for our people here. Billy Kyle Walker. There you go. Okay, so Billy Kyle Walker, this is his monogram here, and in my monogram font, so I, I did all caps there. Let's see what happens when I switch that to one of my monogram, oops, I went too far. When I switch that to one of my monogram fonts, let's pick this one. Okay, that's not what we want. You can see, that when I did all caps, it did all of my letters with the frame around. It's hard to even see what's happening here because it's so ornate and it's all overlapping, but obviously this is not what we want our monogram to look like. So you need to know the rules of your font. When you download your font, usually there will be a link that leads you to instructions or maybe included in the download, you will get some kind of PDF with information on how to use the font. This font is designed by Rivka's Renditions and this is the blog post link that she includes with the download to explain how you type her fonts correctly. So the instructions are the first letter should be uppercase, the second letter should be lowercase, and then for the third letter you use this key here. So our third letter was K, so we're gonna need an exclamation point right there. Okay, so to come back into my design, I'm going to double click so I can edit my font. I'm gonna delete that last letter and do an exclamation point for my K and Let's see, delete my middle letter and then a W. So it worked. This is what the design is supposed to look like. And again, let me fill that in so you can see it better. Okay, so if I was going to type that again, let me show you, I would do for this particular font, and like I said, every font's different, but it would be capital for the first letter, lowercase for the second letter, and then you go find the key, the little code for the third letter. And then I'm gonna come down and you'll see when I Oops, switch it to the right font, we have our perfect little monogram. Now, some fonts are different. Let me show you another font. Or actually, how about I just, I will just highlight that and I'm going to switch it to this one. Okay, now obviously, that's not right. So for this particular font, the rules are a little different and the way you do it is lowercase, uppercase, lowercase. So the outside letters are both lowercase and the central letter is uppercase. So like I said, every monogram font, they might have slightly different rules or guidelines. So you're gonna wanna pay attention to the information that comes with the font when you download it. Now, if you have the designer edition of Silhouette Studio or higher, Good news, there is an easy way to make sure you are easily creating your perfect monogram. And that trick is right here in the glyphs panel. So you just click here, select your monogram font. Let's do, let's try a different one this time. What do I have? Let's see, we'll do this flower circle. Okay, so for this one, all I'm going to do is, let's just click here first, that's where I want my text to go. So you can see the glyphs panel shows you all of the possible characters or glyphs that are available with this font. So you don't have to know what keys to press for them, you can just come in here and click to find the ones that you want. So let's say we've got Kristen, let's see what should her middle name do, Claire. So okay, Kristen Claire Harris. I'm coming up with some great names. And so you can see that is just like an easy way for you to create monograms. The glyphs panel is really the easy way to go. You don't have to worry about tracking down any rules. You can just see the letters and pick them out right there. You can also find lots of different monogram frames like this pineapple or this whale or this little starburst shape. All three of these designs that I pointed out are actually dingbat font characters. Here are a couple of monogram dingbat fonts that I have here. And if we go into my glyphs panel, you can see them a little better. I'll make this larger. You can see each character is a different kind of burst form that I can put a monogram inside. This one, monogram dingbats, similar, different shapes, an apple, wreaths, watermelon one's cute. Let's do that. So I'll just type and then click on it. There we go. 
So that is an easy way to get a little frame for your monogram. So now I have this frame and I wanna put a monogram inside it, but this time instead of using a monogram font, I'm going to create a monogram just using a regular font. And one way to do this is to simply find a font you like, play around a little bit with the letters, just create your own design. Okay, so let's choose what letter we want for the center of our monogram. Okay, so then I can find the other letters I need for my monogram. So let's say we'll put a B in there. Oh, I gotta double click to edit and then I can add the other letters that I need. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is it's easier to manipulate this if I ungroup it so it's no longer a text object, more like shapes that I can move around. Then I can come here, move this. Oh, BLT is what I chose. <laughs> Maybe we'll make it TBL. And you can just kind of play around with it until you are happy with the positioning. And then, so when you cut your design, these two don't cut apart from each other. Just go here into the modify panel, which looks like a little rectangle overlapping a circle and select weld. And that will join those two letters into one shape. So that is my monogram. And I just made that super easily using a font that's not a monogram font. Okay, the last thing that I'm going to show you today is how to create a split monogram. Here is a split monogram that I created earlier. This is not a font or cut file that I downloaded. This is something I created in the Silhouette Studio software and it's really easy and I'm gonna show you how to do it really quickly. First, you're just going to choose the initial that you want to work with. So, well actually let's do a different one. Since I already did M, I'm just, let's do, we'll do Smith because that's like a common fake last name, right? <laughs> and now to create the little cutout place where we're gonna type our word, I am going to come here and select the draw a rectangle tool and it might be easier to see this if it's a different color. I'm just going to scale this down and position it to where I like where it's cutting out. So this is going to be subtracted from the design. I think I like it like that. And then I'm going to select both the rectangle and the S and I'm going to go here to the modify panel again and I'm going to click on subtract. And then I'm going to use my little rectangle tool again, and this time I'm gonna make this a little thin rectangle, something like that. And I'm gonna drag it down so they just barely overlap. And then I'm gonna hold, hold Alt or Option and then click and drag to make a copy of that. You could also click Copy Paste, but I'm gonna select both go here to the align panel and click on this one so they line up together on the left or you could also center. Then I'm gonna select all of them and come back here to the modify panel and click on weld. And that's, oh, and then I'm gonna group them together also. And there you have it. We just created a split monogram super easily in minutes. And there you have it. That is the super easy way to make a split monogram using whatever fonts you have custom split monogram design in Silhouette Studio software. And of course, a split monogram does not have to be limited to a letter. This is a design from the Silhouette Design Store that I thought was really pretty. It's a little floral design, and I thought this would be kind of perfect for, I think, a pretty little split monogram. So I'm going to do the same process for this. And there you have it, a really simple, pretty split floral monogram created in a minute in the Silhouette Studio software. I hope this little tutorial was helpful for you all and that you've learned a little bit about making your own monograms in Silhouette Studio software and that you'll be out there monogramming all the things. Until next time, happy making. Bye.